Namaste. Welcome to another episode of Diabetic Capsules. This time we'll be dealing about HbA1c, one of the most prominent and one of the most popular and one of the most confused, one of the most misleading or rather misunderstood tests for the sake of diagnosing and treating diabetes. So what exactly is HbA1c? HbA1c is an average indicator of the blood sugar levels. There's a mean blood sugar levels blood glucose levels over the preceding two to three months but remember it's not as if the it reflects all the ups and downs of the entire two or three preceding months it has a strong bias for the last 15 to 21 days in other words if your hba1c say eight percent now a major chunk of it would have been um, contributed to by the last 15 to 20 days that's 80 percent of this eight percent up to 80% is contributed by the last 15 days. The All the remaining is contributed to by the preceding uh, two and a half months. So that's a very important thing to be noted over here. Now, HbA1c is also liable for certain mistakes in the sense it might be spuriously elevated or it can be spuriously lowered due to a host of conditions. Very important being pregnancy and uh, liver disease and uh, anemias, various types of anemia. So anything that affects the hemoglobin can also affect the HbA1c, which is also known as glycosylated hemoglobin or glycated hemoglobin. All right. So it's very important to figure out this particular uh, aspect. And therefore, we never take treatment decisions based on HbA1c alone. We also take into consideration the fasting as well as the PPBS uh, levels. HbA1c, however, is very important because it doesn't require any fasting as such. It can be done at any time of the day and the night. We'll be talking about HbA1c more. Until then, thank you for watching.